What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing some Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted VR, which is uh, basically Five Nights at Freddy's in VR. Maybe some other stuff? I don't know. But this will be fun. And uh, I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this. And their eyes are following me. Well, that's just nice. Foxies. Oh, yep. Oh, okay. Uh, new game. Let's go. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while and have a good time. And remember, despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu. Supposed to hit that? Am I supposed to? Ah, uh, I don't like the sound of that, but okay. Deal. No on game. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Ooh, Experience. Yay. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital nice. age, and what better way to do that than with Man, an I edge of your seat so virtual weird. reality experience? Man, you made this seat as comfortable as possible. Like, there's literally no seat. That's amazing. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha, ha, ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game, in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Thank you for playing the Freddy Fazbear. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Sounds amazing. You're not responsible for basically anything. Um, so what does that mean here? I'm just adjust I was just adjusting my head set. Familiar face. Uh, that's definitely familiar. Witch trap? Hello. Oh my god. Eventually, I will do a Curse of Dreadbear um, um, series on its own, but it's going to be a, a different series than, um, uh, well, the regular Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Because, well, it's Halloween based and it just looks very fun. Um, what should I do first? Oh, Funtime Freddy. That's a, that's one of my favorite characters. Let's try that one out. I have a feeling I'm really gonna regret this. Yeah, I really am gonna regret this. Oh, how exciting. I'm gonna regret this. Okay. Uh, Teed 
T. Oh, does T stand for trigger? Okay, T to teleport. T to close door. Or, um, close door and survive until 6 a.m. Easy enough. Oh, look at all the little stars and whatever. Should be easy. I played Five Nights at Freddy's one before. On Ultimate Custom Night. Should be. setting. Oh my god. That get, that does not seem scary. process for this is close the door immediately as soon as you get out. So, 
just from that first jump scare that I just got, I'm really going to dislike that. Nightmare on. Nope, that's for another video. Well, let's try parts and service. Not doing night terrors. That would be a mistake. Yep, okay. Sounds simple enough. Make repairs. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. Oh. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. His right or my right? His, wait, his left or my left? Great job. His Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye oh, okay. and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking. Oh, so, um, why did I get jump scared right there? That did not get me. That didn't feel like that was in my face. Restart. I know what I gotta do this time for first. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Great job. De well done. Now, deposit the right eye and good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. That concludes your parts and services task. Second, See you know. next time. Can I get something? Like a... Like one of those collectible things? Yes. Thing bombs. Yeah. It... Yeah, what the heck's happening with the controls here? My right hand's acting. It. I just gulp it down. Imagine if, like, you could uh, get toys from that. That would be cool. Okay. F1 and F2. Never actually played Map Three before. That would be fun. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sounds good enough to me. Follow the instructions. Don't get killed. Hey, hey! Glad you came back for another oh, night. No, 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 no. I promise. It'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend. And we're out tracking down a new lead I right now. So, so uh, let me just update you real I quick. Don't then you're gonna get to work. Like the attraction opens in like a week. So we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way towards you and past you and out the exit. Uh, 
Yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as a security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make you feel more authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a boxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another yeah, crappy cop toy. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings said it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security camera over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cam and the vent cam. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. The most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spook, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Easy lemon squeezy. No effort, just listen. To it. Lemon stuff. I can't read the bottom part, but okay. I just hit my mouth. <laughs> um, let's try night two of NAF three. Let's go. That was pretty fun, so... Okay, that... Oh, is that a thing? No, that's actually Springtrap's body. Okay, interesting. Oh, yeah, no, the atmosphere of this place. Wait, what does this do? Oh, so it makes me not want to be here. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with me not being there. Yeah, I like this spot a heck of a lot more. Let's go. Yep, that's all nice and whatever. Just gonna get this one started up. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. If you're not gonna believe this, we found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello! Uh, 
Welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear Pizza. Uh, these tapes are information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injury slash death slash irreparable and grotesque things can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound cues. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, enter and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, God. providing room to climb its sides. Oh. Oh. Fast and tight to ensure the animatronic. Oh. You know that was not actually too bad. This jump scare is too hard to see for me. I couldn't even see. There's more see-through. Do I want to try that? You know, I'll give it one more try. One more. Uh, this doesn't seem like the kind of thing for me. Not very good. Man, okay. I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. You guys probably no, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes. I have no clue. Or like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could like have them playing like over the so, um, walk through the attraction. Just a that makes it feel legit, um, man. Sort of gets but I have an even better Isn't surprise it inevitable for that you're not gonna believe this. You? We found one. A real this one. This seems pretty uh, 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 Gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. But, okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear Pizza. Hi. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injury slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For so ease of operation, the animatronics me. are set to turn and walk towards sound cues. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure yes. the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing <laughs> To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to well, ensure the animatronic yeah. devices remain fixed. Just gotta keep we'll cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile okay. for the face of Freddy Fazbear. Yeah. Okay, 2 a.m. Easy. Peace. Boom. I'm just luring him back there over and over again. This is the easiest thing ever. Hello. Hello. Audio error. Crap.
Uh, sorry guys that the clip stopped, like right there. For some reason the recording stopped, but I'm gonna have to end the episode right here. Um, basically what happened was I beat Night 2, or I beat Night 2, and I beat Night 1 of Nat 2, but I hope you guys can excuse that. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you for watching, uh, if you already made it this far. And have a great day.